Hi folks, these are some difference and product formulae. So uh, we've got a big list of them down here. So uh, when you're looking at a question, you're just looking for something similar to, to the first part. So here we're trying to express as a sum or difference. You could be asked to do that. So you've got two cos 3x sine 3x. So we're looking for something with cos and sine stuck together. So you can see there you've got um, two cos a sine b. So we can use that here. So the a would just be the 3x and the b would be the x. So if we use that one, so I'll just write it out. So this is the first question. First question. Um, so two cos a sine b equals sine of a plus b minus sine of a minus b. So all of the, these formulae are in the log table, so it's, a, it's just a matter of looking through it and trying to pick one that will help you get, get to what you want to do. So uh, with this one then, uh, the it'll be sin, so it, we said a is 3x, so it'll be 3x plus b, which is the x minus sin of 3x minus x. So we're just replacing a and b with 3x and x. So we get sin 4x minus sin 2x. So then we have expressed it now as a sum or a difference. So it's a, it's a difference. So it's sin 4x minus sin 2x. So that's the first one. Second one then, so it's got cos of theta, uh, cos of five theta. So we're looking for something with two causes beside each other basically here. So if you look over here, so we have this one. Uh, so two cos A cos B. Is equal to cos of A plus B. plus cos of a minus b. So we can use that one here. Now notice you don't have a two in front of the cos theta, cos five theta for this one. So, so I'm gonna just change this for, before we start. So it's gonna be cos a, cos b is equal to, so I'll bring the two over and divide it. I'm just getting cos of a plus b plus cos of a minus b over two. So bring it across, you, you have to divide it. So now we've got cos a, cos b. So now we can just replace the a with a theta and the b with a five theta. So we're gonna get cos theta, cos five theta, is equal to so it'll be cos of theta plus five theta plus cos of uh, theta minus five theta all over two. So we can just, we can do, so it'll be cos of, it'll be sixth, sixth theta when you add them together, all over two, plus cos of, and then it's, it'll be minus four theta, and you could change that then just to a positive four theta at the end, if you want to, but you've done it there now. Um, so we've expressed it now as a summer a product. So that's all you need to do for those two. Let's look at these now. So express as a product then. So we've got cos of 5a plus cos of 3a. So it's kind of like the opposite way around now. They're, they're, out, they're written as a sum. So there's a plus and a minus in, in, them, in the middle of them. So we're going to pick ones over here that will help us to express them as a product. So we're going to use the bottom ones. 
So the first one is cos 5a plus cos 3a. So it's two causes added. So it's going to be this one here that we're going to use because that's the only one with two causes added together. So let's write that one out. Cos of a plus cos of b is equal to two cos of a plus b over two cos of a minus b over two. So we're going to let the a um, be the five a here. And we're going to let the b be the three a. So that then would be, if we just put subbing them in, it would be uh, 2 cos of 5a plus 3a over 2 cos of 5a minus 3a over 2. So that would be 2 cos of, it would be 8a over 2, so that would be 4a cos of, and 5a minus 3a is 2a, and then divide that by 2 is a. So that's it then. And then for the second part, um, sine of 3a minus sine a. So uh, the one we're going to use here then, so for the second question, so it's going to be where we've got two sines, so a sine A minus sine B, it's going to be this one here. So it says that sine A minus sine B is equal to 2 cos of A plus B over 2 sine of a minus b over 2. So we're just going to let the a be the 3a and the b be the a. So then 3a plus a is 4a divided by 2 is 2a and sine of so 3a minus a is just 2a and then divide that by 2 is a. Uh, so that's it then, that's expressed as a product.